A mere two weeks ago, the former advertising entrepreneurs who run Ukraine's Ministry of Digital Transformation were focused on making the Kyiv government more accessible by smartphone. Last week, they organized a crowdsourced cyber army, claiming to have knocked Russia's biggest bank off the internet. This week, it was back to smartphones. They're distributing an app that's essentially an air raid siren to warn Ukrainians of Russian attacks from the sky. So many lives have utterly changed in the seven days since Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered Russian forces to invade Ukraine. The two former ad tech executives who helm Ukraine's digital ministry are no exception. The chief, 31-year-old Mihailo Fedorov, has gone from being best known for handling advertising for Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky's 2019 election campaign to, now, being the face of Ukrainian cyber resistance. In the last 24 hours, he's claimed his cyber army is waging an unprecedented online war and posted online images of himself with freshly imported satellite link equipment donated by Elon Musk so the country can maintain an online presence. Fedorov's deputy, Alex Barnyakov, a former ad tech entrepreneur who turned 40 on Tuesday, told Forbes the army of hackers crowdsourced through Telegram aimed to coordinate all the people that want to help Ukraine fight Russian propaganda and help with cyber attacks. With this coordination, we had. Our goal is to show them that politics and the way that Putin thinks and his actions are going to bring down the whole of Russia. We fight lies and fakes with transparency. As bombs fall on Ukraine and Russian troops find stiff resistance in the armed struggle fought on the streets of cities such as the capital Kyiv and Kharkiv in the east, Ukraine is winning the information war, according to sources outside the country. The Russians are losing the information battle, badly. And they know it said Dmitry Alperovich, chairman of the Silverado Policy Accelerator, a former co-founder of cybersecurity company CrowdStrike and a Russian living in the US he said Russia was failing to push back on Ukrainian propaganda, which was flooding the internet, in particular around. Ukrainian propaganda has included exaggerations and untruths, Alperovich said, noting that many of its claims were doubtful or proven to be false. For example, Fedorov's claim that the Moscow exchange, which was offline Monday, was still down the next day thanks to a cyber attack by the IT army.